This is Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com. Let's get started making our website. And the first thing we need to do to get our website going is to get a hosting account. So head over to DreamHost.com and then click the uh, sign up button right on the front page. All right, so let's go ahead and fill out our email address. Put in a password. Put in a security question. So this here gives you the opportunity to uh, go ahead and just sign up for a domain right away if you know what domain you want. Um, if you don't know what domain you want yet but you want to start building your website, that's okay too. Or if you already own a domain and you want to transfer it, um, you can do that too. But let's go ahead and put it in a domain here. And then you can get a register for free um, with your account. Um, if, you already own a if you already own this domain, then you can click on this and it'll direct you to how to uh, transfer it from your registrar or how to point it from your registrar to DreamHost as the um, host for your website. Or you can just do, I'll set this up later, um, and I've got a video on how to start building your website in DreamHost without actually having a uh, domain. Um, or if you already have a domain but you are currently using it and you want to start developing your new site. I have a video that'll show you how to go ahead and set that up. All right, so let's just go ahead and click continue. And then you've got a choice here, whether you want to do one year prepaid, which works out to being $9.95 a month, or two years prepaid for $8.95 a month. So let's continue. Go ahead and enter in your personal information here. And then if you have a special offer, you can go ahead and just enter in your promo code uh, right here. And you can find a great special offer at the realwebsitehints.com homepage. It should be there right on the sidebar. And then go ahead and enter in your credit card information. Go to the uh, terms and conditions and complete the sign up. And there, there we go. Now we're creating an account. And we're almost ready to start our website. OK, so you get a choice here of whether you want to add a uh, private web server or a private MySQL server. I would say when you're just starting out, you don't need to, to do that. It's sort of when you start getting a lot of traffic that those things become um, something that's necessary. So when you're starting out, um, you're not going to have a lot of traffic, so it's not really not going to be important. But it's nice to know that it's really easy to upgrade your website when you do start getting more traffic on your site. All right, so let's go ahead and just click Continue. All right, and then we'll just click this and we'll get uh, go ahead and get connected to our web panel. I'm gonna have to log in here. When we log into our panel for the first time, we're taken to this dashboard here, which has got some information about what's new with DreamHost. But we don't really care about that right now. We wanna get our site going. So let's make sure everything with our domain that we registered is okay. And let's see here. Yeah, it looks like that's good. And it says fully hosted here, so that means it's ready to install WordPress on. Um, if it didn't say fully hosted here, it would give you an option right here to go ahead and edit or fully host this domain. Um, let's just look at the settings real quick for the hosting. It's not really important right when you first get started, but it's good to know what these features are. Um, you've got this feature here, which is about uh, directing your site to either remain the way your users type it in, so if they type in HTTP colon slash slash www, or just HTTP colon slash slash your website name, um, it'll just leave it that way. Or to add www, so even if they type in slash slash your website name, it will add the www to it, or to remove the www. This actually is an important setting for search engine optimization, because apparently, um, search engines look at a site that's www and http colon slash slash 
without the WW as two different websites. And so for SEO purposes, you want to have just one. So I usually just leave it alone and leave it with www since people are used to typing that in. Um, we've got the user here. I will talk about in a more advanced uh, dream host session about how to change users and how to use users properly. Um, but for right now, it's not something you need to worry about. You can just leave that alone. Um, page speed optimization is something you want to make sure is unchecked, and it is by default. But when you're developing your website, page speed optimization will mess you up because it caches your website, and it's very slow to refresh. So if you're making changes, you won't see the changes happening for, I found, hours or even like a day later you, the, ch the change will happen. So make sure when you're developing your site or if you decide to, you know, if you click this on later on after you've developed your site and then you go back to develop, that you check this or uncheck this, rather, um, when you're doing development because it will frustrate you. Um, but it's a great feature to have when you're not in development mode. Um, Cloudflare is an awesome service. Um, I've used it. It has definitely saved me a couple of times. Um, I had a website that was designed just for local users in a small geographical area, um, but I was getting tons of traffic and tons of spam from countries uh, you know, all over the world, which you know made no sense. So I was able to actually block users from specific countries, specific IP addresses using Cloudflare, and that's a free service um, that comes with DreamHost, which is totally awesome, and it also helps speed up your site, and that's great too. So um, yeah, everything's fine here, so we're just going to leave that alone, and let's go ahead and install WordPress. So we go over here to the very top here in the toolbox, and we click on one-click installs, and we click on WordPress, we do custom installation, and then we select the domain. If you had multiple domains um, that were fully hosted in DreamHost, they would all show up here. But since we just have this one, we can just select that. Okay, this is really important here. You want to uncheck the deluxe install. Um, it sounds awesome. It sounds like it's really going to help you out. Ooh, wow, deluxe install. But what the deluxe install does is it adds extra themes and adds extra plugins that are great, I guess, if you want to play around, um, but we're about trying to get something done using the best tools and minimizing our frustration. And one thing that can happen if you have plugins or themes that you aren't using is it can actually pose a security threat to your site. So you always want to make sure you just have the bare minimum of what you need to make your site run well running and no other software installed on your website. All right, so let's go ahead and install WordPress now. Okay, and in a few minutes, um, we will get a email that will tell us that uh, our site has been fully hosted and how to log into it. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. Okay, so it does take a few moments, but you will get an email like this one right here that says to um, go ahead and create a new admin user. This means that WordPress has been installed on your site and it's ready to be configured. So we go ahead and give it a site title. and create a username. Um, it's really important when you're creating a username for your WordPress website not to use the name of the website or admin. Both of those are known tricks that hackers use to hack into your site. What they'll do is they'll just uh, have a bot sit on your site and try admin and try the name of your website as the login and just try every single possible password imaginable. They can buy these lists of the most commonly used passwords and they'll just start typing them in. So two things to help you from that are using LastPass and not using a common username. So you want to just think of something else. And I'm just going to have uh, LastPass create a password for me. That way it'll remember it and I don't have to worry about what it is. And type in my email. Since our website is in development mode, we want to uncheck this allow search engines to index the site. But remember, when our site is ready to go and it's live, to check this back on. So let's go ahead and uncheck that and install WordPress. And log in. Okay, and since we uh, used LastPass for that, we'll just uh, go ahead and sign in with LastPass. Okay, and there we go. WordPress is now installed on our domain name on DreamHost. Check out the description below for links related to this video. You can always go to realwebsitehints.com for a detailed blog post on the steps featured in this video. 
Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest tips and techniques to make your web development easier.